Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. And for all of your manifestation needs, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. This message is for all of the Pisces. For all the Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and ground for all of the Pisces. Okay, okay, okay. So, the charms that I pulled prior are... That's how I just knew that this reading was for you. So, I got the Pisces. And then also, I see that you're a star, right? And you're realizing that you can't just be treated any way, but there has been some things that have been hidden from you, right? But you're going through this transformation, and you're realizing that there's only one person like you. Like, you are individually made, and there's no copycat, even if somebody tries. There's nobody that could be like you. It's only one you. And it's just you, right? Okay, Pisces, I'm going to put the tarot on it right in. Okay, so I cut the deck, Pisces, right on the devil. So there is somebody in the mist that is definitely wishing your downfall. This could be a karmic person. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Somebody that really does not want their two best for you. But I do see that you have the strength. We have the king of cups. I do see that you have the, the strength. You're very sociable, sociable, if I can talk today, y'all. Um, and you're very knowledgeable, right? And then we have the King of Pentacles. This person is jealous of you because of your power, right? People look up to you. They ask you for advice. Um, you're sometimes a middleman in situations. But in the background, this person is definitely jealous like of you because of a connection that you have with somebody that they don't have, right? We have the lovers. There's been a lot of temptation here, right? And I don't feel like it was temptation on your end. It was temptation on this person's end because at first, whenever they first came towards you, they put a false mask on and they tried to act like they wanted to be your friend or something. But at the end of the day, they were really just jealous of you, right? Because they find you very intelligent and they're really just bitter, we have the Queen of Swords. They're, they're um, just bitter. They're trying to pay attention to every little single thing that you can do so they can point out something that you do wrong, right? But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Because we have that karmic wheel, and it's going in your favor, right? You have those life cycles. You have those ups and downs. And um, you have that transition. And, and you have that change in opportunity. And this, you have the opportunity. And this person doesn't. And this person... Um, they definitely were judged for past actions. They were called out before. And they're like, they're wanting, they're, they're just wanting um, somebody to see something that you're not, right? So they're trying to nitpick, basically. Then we have the King of Swords. Um, this person can lie. They can be a liar. Um, they're very intelligent. And they're, they're trying to be determined. Like, they're trying to make this their job to them call you out or some shit or point out or nitpick some shit. Oh, they, you forgot to put this period here? Like, little bullshit type stuff. What else for the Pisces? Then we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, this person is real petty. They're real petty. They try to start arguments. Um, they have a lot of uh, unhealthy situations that they have going on. And it's a no-win situation. It's like whenever you get into something with them, it's an empty victory because you're not going to win it. You're not going to win it because they just always think they know every damn thing. Yeah, but it's something unexpected that's coming. And what's unexpected is is, is going to lead to chaos for this person. Yeah, because... This person knows that you've been very seven of pentacles. They know you've been very consistent in what you're doing, and you're going to meet a milestone, and you're going to have this sudden gain, and they're not going to be able to match that. Yeah. They try to stab you in your back over and over and over, doing little sneaky shit that you may have not even realized. You realized it a couple of times, but you didn't think it was on purpose, purposely done. Um, but at the end of the damn day, this person is getting it back tenfold. All that shit that they wished on you, they're getting it back tenfold. And while you're over here in your happiness and peace with the happy family and um, living in your satisfaction and you're very grateful for everything you have, um, this person is definitely um, seeing you progress and get your rewards and get those good news and, you know, seeing you uh, reap those rewards that you have sown. Yes, yes, yes. 
Pisces, that was short and sweet. I see good things coming. Whoever was trying to be in your midst and do these shitty things to you and trying to be fake with you, it ain't working. It ain't working. It is not working. Let me go ahead and um, get some final advice from Spirit with my Wisdom of Oracle deck. Okay. Round and round and Treasure Island. Yeah, so um, this person has tried to leave you stuck in your head around and around with some bullshit before. And it doesn't matter because you're going to have Treasure Island at the end of the day. And your life is going to be like milk and honey. You see the rainbows and the happiness and you're swimming in your success. So don't even worry about it. They ain't touching you. And what's... The other treasure island. They're not touching you. All right, Pisces. Don't forget to get your energy in. And for all of your manifestation needs, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. Get your energy in. As always, peace, love, and namaste.